after this step one, when we have patient that is suspect of uh, having periodontitis, we move to a step two. So in this step two, the presence of interdental clinical attachment loss in the oral examination has identified this particular patient as suspect of periodontitis. And we need to ascertain whether this clinical attachment loss is caused by local factors only, such as, for example, endoperial lesions, vertical root fractures, caries extending to the cervical area, restorations, or impacted third molars. If this is not the case, we need to ascertain that this clinical attachment loss is present in more than one non-adjacent teeth. If this is the case, we have a periodontitis patient and we need to make a comprehensive periodontal diagnosis through periodontal charting and full mouth radiographs. If the periodontal charting does not show probing pocket depth of four millimeters or more, we need to evaluate the full mouth bleeding on probing. When the full mouth bleeding on probing is higher than 10%, the diagnosis is gingival inflammation in a periodontitis patient. When it is lower than 10%, then the diagnosis is a patient with a reduced healthy periodontium. If the periodontal charting shows probing pocket depths of four millimeters or more, the diagnosis is a periodontitis case that needs to be assessed according to the staging and gradient system. So in summary, this step two evaluates in a patient suspect of periodontitis, whether the patient is a periodontitis patient with gingivitis, without periodontitis, or whether it is a periodontitis patient or a patient with a history of periodontitis with periodontal health. In these situations, this patient, in spite of the presence of clinical attachment loss, does not have pocketing, does not have periodontal pockets, may have gingival inflammation, ascertained by bleeding on probing in more than 10% of the sites, then the patient is diagnosed as a periodontitis patient with gingival inflammation. Or it may not have 10% of bleeding on probing sites, and then the diagnosis will be a patient with a reduced but healthy periodontium.